I am Dr. Ajit Pai, uh, surgical oncologist and robotic surgeon with Apollo Hospitals Chennai. This is Mr. Abdullah Saeed and this is his son Mr. Saeed and he presented to me from Oman with rectal cancer in December of uh, 2014. The rectal cancer was uh, locally advanced so I advised him to undergo chemo radiotherapy which he underwent. He completed his chemo radiation in early part of February and uh, after I evaluated him with the uh, uh, endoscopy, endorectal ultrasound and a PET CT scan, we found that the cancer had uh, shrunk considerably and was suitable for surgery. So then I counseled him that uh, the best available technology for performing the surgery is with the robotic uh, interface and uh, we have the robotic machine at Apollo Hospitals Chennai, Greens Road. So after evaluation we proceeded with the robotic surgery on the 24th of uh, March and we are able to perform a radical uh, curative resection removing the entire tumour. Uh, the tumor was very low and was involving the muscle complex so we had to remove, do an abdominal perineal resection which is the removal of the last part of the rectum with the anal canal. This was successfully performed uh, without any problems. The patient recovered very well after surgery and uh, he was up and about the day after surgery. He was discharged uh, within 5 days from the hospital and you can see him just one week after surgery how comfortably he is sitting. Uh, surgery, the pathology report shows that the tumor has been completely removed, nothing has been left behind and uh, his recovery is also very remarkable. Uh, he is about 60 years old, has recovered very well from the surgery. So the major benefits of robotic technology for patients with rectal cancer is we are able to tackle very low tumors, we are able to do a very curative resection compared to open or even laparoscopic surgery. Also the pain relief is very good, small incisions and the recovery of the surgery is fantastic. And he is a living proof of uh, what can be done using the robotic technology provided it is done by the right person in the right institution. And uh, I think this is a very good case scenario and he is on his way back to Oman uh, in the next two days. Normally after open surgery the recovery is very delayed, they take about two to three weeks to recover from surgery. Often they are in the bed for almost a month. Uh, he is fit in fact uh, that he can uh, you know go back to his normal activities the day he reaches Oman in a day or two. أنا عبد الله بن سعيد بن حمد العاصمي من سلطنة عمان جينا إلى تيناي في ديسمبر 2014 قابلنا الدكتور ديبراين ديبريانان المتخصص في أمراض الأورام ثم حولنا إلى الفحوصات ثم حولنا إلى الدكتور جيد باي ثم إلى الدكتور شنكر وبعد ذلك ما عمل خطة خطة العلاج وخبرونا أن خصوص العلاج يتكلف في الريديشن مدة 28 جلسة 28 يوم فأخذنا مدة 28 يوم في الريديشن مع حبوب الكيمو وبعد ما خلصت الوقت رجعنا إلى عمان للاستراحة مدة 6 أسابيع بعد ذلك رجعنا مرة ثانية وقابلنا الدكتور ديبراين ديبريانان ثم أيضا جرى الفحوصات وحولنا إلى الدكتور أجيد باي حتى يعني يشوفوا النتيجة بعد ذلك بعد تقرر قرر على ان تكون هناك عمليه لاستيصال هذا المرض اللي داخل بطني بطريق الريبوت فالحمد لله نقوم في المستشفى بمستشفى ابولو العام تاريخ 15 3 وجريت العمليه لي بطريق الريبوت وبعد العمليه بخمس ايام في المستشفى ثم الان من يومين خارج المستشفى والحمد لله بصحة جيدة وفرحان كثير جدا جدا والآلام اللي كانت فيه كلها الحمد لله أزالت وأسأل الله تعالى التوفيق والنجاح للأطباء جميعهم أن يستمروا في هذا العمل في خدمة الناس وأجزاكم الله خير